the playlist the guy your mother your dad and your sister love lil obi yes boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i told you leo kwenye show la kibabu the playlist itakuwa na celine long time flani vile kwepo the industry na wengi baada ya pale walikuwa wanamfahamu lakini sasa hivi anafanya mishe zake mwenyewe na ana mambo mengi ambayo anataka kutuchana na ana ngoma yake mpya ya Selene inakuwaje? Poa mambo vipi? Safi you good. Mbona kama energy imekata hivi? <laughs> Kati hapo umeingia na energy sana. <laughs> no, mimi unajua ni mtu ambaye niko shy, I'm a shy person. Kivipi yani? Na una gaibu tu I think. I'm a shy. Aibu wakati hapo umekuja una vibe sana na nini? <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's different. Tuki uh tukiwa wili ni tofauti na kujua kamba na skika all over so na kuwa na discipline kidogo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sawa, so, uh first time ambapo tunakutana mimi na wewe ilikuwa ni the industry na hiyo ndo time ambapo wote mlikuwa mnatambulishwa pale. Ulikuwa po wewe Rosary Will Dad na Real pamoja na Aika na nadhani pia hata watu wengine wakaanza kufahamu baada ya kuwa uko introduced kama member wa the industry ulipenya vipi pale nini kilitokea mpaka ukaenda kutangazwa kama member wa the industry that day <laughs> dah ni story ndefu and um huwa nasema sitaki kuongelea maana kids imekuwa it has been too long ya yeah? kama miaka miwili na zaidi but kwa sababu na kuheshimu so just nitaenda kuongea to brief uh, ili tujue So nilikuwa signed kwenye label mwaka 2015 mm. na sababu hiyo it's because nilikuwa nawajua Aika na Nareel kipindi wako power 1 kina Ola kina Igwe That's what I wanted to hear. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Kwa hiyo ilikuwa na kipindi hicho na mimi nilikuwa tu hivyo nafanya fanya mziki. Kwa ilikuwa ni group wanafanya mziki kidogo wa tofauti wanaeka kizungu kidogo um, na mi, we are like almost the same age kipindi kile kwa niliwajua kule kipindi wako still kwenye haso mm-hmm. uh, na mi bado nilikuwa na soma alafu pia na haso so tulikutana enzi hizo so baadaye walivyo mimi nikaenda shule because i had to go to school babangu alisema bila degree amna mziki mm-hmm. so kipindi naenda shule wenyewe wakaendelea wa, wa na mziki wakawa wakubwa mm-hmm. and uh, unajua kitu kikipenda niko ofisini nafanya kazi ambayo nilikuwa nataka kufanya niko kwenye shirika ambalo kweli mtu anasema nilimpeleka mtu shule ili awe mtu fulani mm-hmm. but sikuwa na ile amani nikiwa ofisini kwenye meetings naona tu post uh, za e, we are doing this so we are going to essay nikawa tu nasiki eh, this could have ingekuwa mimi you know so nikawatafuta nilimtafuta jinako nikamwambia mm-hmm. kwa sababu nafanya naye mazoezi mazoezi ya nini uh, mwili gym <laughs> yeah So uh, nikamwambia jinako like na nyimbo hii nimefanya same flani sikia akaniambia no but na really uko juu they are good na, right now nenda pale naweza ngasaidia na melodies na ndo nikawatafuta sasa the industry uh, nikamwambia jamani because they know me was like hey aona do a song shingapi let's work together ndo kaanza kwa kulipia kwa hiyo Yes nikaanza kukulipia kabisa mm-hmm. ni shingapi ni na nini ndo nikawa introduce sasa kwamba like right now we have a label tuna sign artist kwa pale nilimkuta Rosali tayari wewe kumbe uliwakuta pale Yeah lakini nilikuwa kwanza ku kwa really, I mean lakini my Lakini sasa wewe umemkuta Rosali pale na Wildad yeah. na wewe ndo msanii wa kwanza kutangazwa kwenye public kama ndo msanii ambaye official kutoka the Do ile siku ya kutambulishwa mtambulishwa wote yeah. lakini wa kwanza kuanza ku release Yaani wakuwa kutangazwa kama msanii akiwa na kazi yake kutoka the industry ilikuwa ni wewe ni kwa nini? <laughs> okay, kwanza I think kuna process. Um uh, I'm uh, siwezi I'm not gonna sugarcoat vitu kwa sababu mimi niko very real. Um uh, kulikuwa kuna process. Kila mtu alikuwa anapitia branding, you know, uh, ilikuwa kuna process ya kuwa ku, ku, kutafuta majina kutafuta mtu anatakiwa kuonekanaje so wao walikuwa in the process ya kuwa Rosalia alikuwa anafanya branding Wildad alikuwa anafanya branding so mimi tayari nilikuwa nishalipia nyimbo and nilikuwa nataka kufanya video nilikuwa I, I, <laughs> I could finance at that moment you know uh, ndo maana labda I, i'm not so sure because lebo unajua no, wanafanyaga management zao mm-hmm. but mimi pia kwa sababu i had my percent on nilikuwa na uwezo wa kusema yeah time yenu ni lakini nafikiria we do this time pia yeah so ulikuwa na nguvu hiyo 
Kwa ah, sababu ulikuwa umelipia au? No, sikuwa na nguvu hiyo. Japokuwa nilikuwa nimelipia still uh, mandatory uh, decision ilikuwa owned by label. You know? So waliamua I come first but pia mimi uh, I have plans you know I have plans na time frame najua kabisa mda gani natakiwa kufanya kitu fulani so hata kama nimelipia natakiwa pia kutoa opinion kwamba nafikiria huu ndo muda sahihi wa mimi kutoka yeah. yeah uliacha kazi lakini kabla ya kuwa signed under the industry <laughs> ili ufocus kwenye mziki kwa nini uliacha kazi ambayo ilikuwa inakulipa ukaenda ku sign baada niliacha kazi ni, nikiwa nishakuwa signed mm. na label <laughs> sababu niliacha kazi ni baada uh, uh, um, nyimbo kutoka and it was not doing as uh, to live a picture ha, haikuwa imeenda out there kama tulivyo kwa tumepewa plan initially so um, ile tukuuliza eh mbona naona mna kitu like i end say mbona naona tu nipo like so justification ilikuja uh, wewe uko busy because umeajiliwa full time wenzako wanapata platform kubwa because wako nyumbani like they here you know when we need them lakini wewe una kazi una ratiba hiyo kidogo ni changamoto you know um, so nilikuwa sha invest you know so it's either i take the risk okay kama hiyo ndo sababu basi acha niache nikae tuone if it's gonna go so so nika resign i took a big risk huh? nika resign nikasema basi tukae tuone if it's gonna go na it didn't go uh, so ndo ikawa hivyo ilivyokuwa mm-hmm. yeah vitu vikaenda Avikuenda still so haikuwa sababu nilikuwa tu huwa napendaga kumpa mtu aniambie sababu so it's either you tell me the truth au uende cycles so ukienda cycles i will just do hata kama najua ni, ni upuuzi nitafanya tu ku prove kwamba is it kama sitaki kuwa sababu you know so ndio hivi omi ndio hivi tufanyaje unahisi kwamba sababu mimi ni kuchelewa then nitawai kama ni saa tano nitakuja saa moja ili tukifeli ni kuulize nakujaga saa moja ulifikiri sababu ilikuwa ni kuchelewa so nilikuwa tu nataka uhalisi labda ningeambiwa unajua industry iko tough unatakiwa tu kuwa mvumilivu maybe you understand me nisiambiwe tofauti nyingine ambao kweli na mimi kwa nataka tu kusema let's see ili ku disappoint nini sasa ili ndipo ili kukata hiyo kwamba like ume, ume, umechukua riski kubwa ya kuacha kazi kwa ajili ya kuja kufocus kwenye muziki alafu umeniambia hapa vitu vikwenda vile ambavyo ulitegemea i could disappoint ili ni it ruined me yani ili nilipoteza ni, 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 uh, vitu vingi sana you know bila kazi mi nategemea ka, to be honest nategemea kazi tu Uh, na mtegemea Mungu first na nategemea kazi you know he pays my bills na vaa na kula naenda shule he, he does everything for me so imagine kile kitu chote kiondoke hizo bill uh, kula na vitu ambavyo nishazoea so kidogo ilikuwa ili challenge nilisota to be honest mm. kwa hiyo miezi ah ilikuwa si bebe atalipa I'm, I'm i'm independent you know so <laughs> Uh, kama like i think mimi niko independent uh, na nataka kutoa kile ninachoweza kutoa nafikiri kwamba naweza nikafanya ni sikai si nikamtegemea mtu anifanyie tu sidhani kama mimi ni mwanamke wa namna hiyo so ningejishtukia hata kama baby angekuwa na provide ningetaka ku contribute and kwa nini sasa ulitoka the industry though umeniambia utaki kuzungumza hiyo lakini nataka kusikia at least a little bit kupata perspective yako ni hiyo kwa labda kwa sababu ulivoacha kazi na vitu vi, umesema iliku ilikuvurugia kila kitu mm. kwa hiyo ikafika time kama ikakukata hivi ukasema hata na mziki wenyewe kama nini ya mshezangu tu hiyo <laughs> ilikuwa sababu um, sababu nishasema clear vitu havikwenda huwa anapendaga kusema hivi um, ukiwa <laughs> ukiwa kazini omi like umejiliwa na Times FM then vitu visipoenda sawa lazima uchape hapa lazima utoke you understand me ukiwa kwenye 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 mahusiano ukiona vitu vijaenda sawa pia unachapa lapa shuleni ndio uweze ukachapa labda utahama shule uende sehemu nyingine so for me it just didn't work for me na huwa sio mtu wa kusema nikae nabidi na niangalie njia nyingine ndio siri ndio nishabaki nyumbani sina tamia ya nifanyaje nikae nilie so i had to find a way nirudi on my feet nitafute kodi na daiwa nitafute vitu kibao kwanza ah, una, unalipia kodi na nini mwenyewe ndio oh. <laughs> wow okay kuna mtu analipia <laughs> I don't know. Tunasikia hizo story. Yeah. Watoto wa moto kama nyie nini? Mipango ni mingi sana mjini. Na kulikuwa kuna rumors actually zilikuwa zinaendelea kwamba like uh, kutoka kwako pia hata the industry haikuwa vizuri. 
nataka nisikie kutoka kwako if you can set the record straight though kwamba kulikuwa na tetes tetesi kuviziana wena na real na kukawa kama vile kuna signals naendelea na kama we unaonekana ndo mtu ambaye utaka kwenda kuiruin kuiharibu ile mahusiano yake na real na Aika no hadi hadi imepoa that's not true kwanza i have to set the record me and the na real we had nothing i respect the guy i think uh, ni mtu mmoja ambaye yuko humble ni mtu i don't know he is a good guy you know simjui kihivo lakini i know he is a good guy so i respect him kama rafiki and mimi sio mtenganishi like i don't want to be a side chick you know so unless niwe sijui you know but siwezi kuwa najua ani siwezi kukubali kuwa side chick alafu najua unless niwe sijui so uh, um sidhani kama ni na siwezi kutenganisha vitu ambavyo vimepangwa na Mwenyezi Mungu so i'm not that kind of a person oh yeah ulishawahi lakini kwa side chick bila kujua <laughs> Hiyo inatokea. Hiyo <laughs> inatokea. Umepangwa. Hiyo inatokea lakini lazima lazima huyo mtu awe because si si I, I, I think wanaume wako smart sana. Unaweza kwa side chick bila wewe kujua, you know. And as long as sijui I have a clear conscience kabisa. Lakini nikijua hicho ni kitu kingine tena ambacho sitaki kuongea. Sawa, sasa ujeniambia tho kitu gani sasa ambacho kilikutoa ni ile kuacha kazi na kuona mambo yatokei umeniambia ya relationship labda haikuwa hivyo ambavyo umeniambia ilivyokuwa mm. what exactly sasa akukua tu na maelewano you know mm. akukua na maelewano um, sikuwa naona mbele wala kesho na na mimi napenda kufanya vitu ambavyo naweza nikaona where i'm going you know kokote kule you know usikae tu ukaogopa kuuliza tunakoelekea uka, ukabaki you understand me mm-hmm ko nilikuwa sioni kinaendelea kariya yangu ilikuwa nishaharibu ka, sina kazi niko nyumbani sina taela mafuta kutoka sehemu fulani kwenda sehemu fulani so ilibidi nifanye tu maamuzi magumu na kuko tu na maelewano kati ya mimi na na, 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 na management yeah uh, alafu pia mimi mtu wa kujichanganya so most of the time wao wakiwa wamekaa mimi nilikuwa ga nyumbani so hakukuwa tu na maelewano haukuwa na leto vibe studio wewe ikabidi wakupunguze It's not true niliondoka mwenyewe mm. niliamka nikaondoka kama nilivyo resign kazini tu I, I take risk nachukua risk katika maisha yangu so many times you know so uh, kama niliweza kuacha ubalozi nisingeza I think kama niweza kuamka nikaacha kazi ubalozi nisingeza nikashindi kuacha nikakaa the industry so i, from one big organization to the, in, like a music label so it didn't work for me tu nikaamua kuondoka Salama Jabil aliwahi kuja hapa kwenye the playlist na moja kati ya kitu alichoniambia ni kitu ambacho uh, nilikipenda sana wakati yeye anafanya mishemishe zake huko alipokuepo anasema hakutokea dirishani alitokea mlangoni definitely hata wewe wakati unatoka ubalozi haukutokea dirishani ulitokea mlangoni maana yake ni pana sana kwamba kama ulitokea mlangoni basi ni, ni rahisi wale watu kukukaribisha tena kwa sababu mlango utajifunga na kufungua lakini kama dirishani maana yake ulitoka vibaya itakuwa ni ngumu wale watu kukupokea tena sasa kwa ubalozi ulitokea mlangoni na kama ulitokea mlangoni ukufikiria kwamba unatoka the industry labda urudi tena ubalozini So labda wange apply, kazi nyingine ingetangazwa ninge apply ningeweza ku join but nilikuwa nishatoka na uh, Mwenyezi Mungu akafungua milango mikubwa because na, naamini nikitoka sehemu lazima kuna mlango nitafunguliwa tu so uh, sikuona kuna haja ya, ya, ya going back there unless kama kuna kazi nyingine zingetangazwa ninge apply na ninge rudi kwani itokea mlangoni same question kwa the industry though lakini najua kwa the industry ulitokea mlangoni dirishani mlango wa nyuma <laughs> <laughs> Nitokea mlango wa nyuma. Yeah. Sio dirishani sio front door. Yeah. Back door. Yeah. Uh, kuna time mlienda mpaka South Africa kule like mkao kama mmeweka kambi na Justin Campus na nini. Nataka tuende mbele sasa tuata, tuachane nayo inshu lakini wakati ulipokuwa umeshachomoka ina, inawezekana kuna kazi ambazo mlikuwa mmezifanya before kabla ya kutokea mlango wa nyuma na ambazo wewe una wish kama ungekuja zingekuwa release zingekuja kutoka zingekuweka same flani situation hiyo ilitokea kwa sababu like niliona kama mliweka kambi South Africa kwa muda mrefu sana na mlikuwa mnajifungia studio kwa muda mrefu sana inawezekana kuna kazi ambazo zimebakia pale ambazo huenda hujapewa au labda tu ziko ndani hamkuzimalizia ambazo wewe una wish ungezifanya au zingetoka zingekuweka katika same flani hivi um 
unajua sengine bora uanze upya in live uh, uanze tu upya so kulijibu hilo um, kila mtu alikuwa na ana, ana, ana jina kila mtu alikuwa na ana video zake ziko uploaded so tulivotoka na isi what both of us video zetu zilitolewa and mimi sio mtu wa kuangalia nyuma you know unaanza unajipangusa you start afresh from the bottom so even don't have za kukujibu omi <laughs> but to, uh, to just be clear mm-hmm. ina kwa watu wengine watu wanaosikiliza like i have nothing against uh, the industry and have nothing against na real or aika um kila mtu ana tofauti zake everybody ni binadamu uh, sio kwamba i'm all perfect uh, au wako perfect wao so watu waelewe I, there is nothing oh yeah, yeah. again hapo tena kuna time ukaanza kufanya kazi na c9 vibe kama likao linaendelea ilikuwaje kukutana na C9 na zikatoka nadhani ilitoka dola sio toka dola na ngoma gani tena nyingine yeah, jitume jitume ya yeah. um yeah. nilikutana na C9 nilivotoka pale au za looking mtu akufanya naye kazi um niko, nilikuwa karibu sana na, na one of the directors wa video alikuwa na connection na C9 so too i was like hey, i have to do something you know nime, nime, nime rudi, sina kazi nisha west all of that so as ni bora tu niendelee so nikatoka nikafanya dola na sinain uh, ikatoka ikafanya fanya vizuri then nikatoka nikabadilika kabisa i was like hey, i wanna do inspiration nataka kufanya kitu ambacho kita inspire jamii sinain let's do something so hapo ndo nilipotoka nimefanya kazi mbili na sinain he's mm. a good he's a great producer ni rafiki yangu i'm very comfortable na yeye so yeah mm-hmm. Uli switch hapo umeniambia hizo inspiration song na nini la watu wakaio, ikaenda mpaka kwenye gospel na ikaonekana kama vile kwenye bongo flavor huku ilikuwa ni resi sana ukona kama ni mziki ambao unaweza usikutendee haki ukaamua uje kwenye gospel ndivyo hivyo ambavyo ilivyokuwa um, kipindi hicho kuna vitu nilikuwa napitia kwenye maisha yangu <laughs> ikabidi mpeleke Mungu sasa yeah, kuna vitu nilikuwa napitia um, na kimbilio langu huwa ni Mungu to be honest um, kwa hiyo kipindi hicho ili nikuta nilikuwa napitia vitu vigumu na Mwenyezi Mungu akanifungulia milango mingi akanipa faraja akanipa unafu so sikuwa na sababu ya kwenda kuimba mapenzi sikuwa na sababu ya kwenda kuimba prating sikuwa na sababu ya kufanya anything like that so decision ilitoka kwenye experiences zangu na maisha yangu na sehemu nyingi alizonitoa ambazo sikujua kama nitaweza kupita akanipitisha tena akaninyanyua kwa kwa namna ya ajabu sana you know uh, he blast me he over blast me so nikaona sina sababu nikisimama nikaemba leo mapenzi uh, haitakuwa uh, sita feel like i'm fulfilled you know so huo ni uamuzi ambao nili, nilitoka and like i think I, uh, it's i'm there you know sidhani kama nitarudi nyuma uh, ni kama vile mziki ulikuwa umekukatisha tamaa labda kwenye bongo flavor kama ikawa kwa namna fulani imekupiga ikabidi wen, uje kwenye gospel lakini again ukakaa kimya kwa almost here ni kwa sababu labda mziki ulikuwa umekupiga au kuna vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vimekuzingua ukawa umeachana kabisa na mziki kwa almost mwaka mzima nili nilifanya nilifanya jitume last year march the same year nimefanya chapalapa so imenichukua kama one year na sio nafikiria bongo flavor it's what wengi waliniita like hey you know you, you you're good looking eh It's gonna be easy. Wamoto eh? Yeah, you know it's gonna be easy. Wamoto eh? <laughs> Sio wamoto. Walikuwa tu wakiniangalia. Wananiambia. <laughs> no, walikuwa wananiambia I have I have the looks ya kuwa kwenye Bongo Flavor. Uh-huh. Like hey, you can do so much better here. Kwa nini umerudi ume, ume, umeenda huku unaona? Lakini nilikuwa ni maamuzi yametoka moyoni um, na nikaamua tu kufanya ninachoweza kufanya japokuwa Uh, pasti yangu pia kwenye hizi nyimbo za huku watu wasingeelewa kwa nini unafanya hivyo labda watu wakuelewi is it real labda umevaaje na kwa kuwa kuna changamoto zake lakini kitu ambacho niliamua kutoka moyoni uh, na sababu nimekaa kimya kwa mwaka mmoja mimi ni full time employed yani mimi ni mfanyakazi monday to monday to friday you know na kuna vitu nilikuwa nimeshalibu alibu huko nyuma uh, plan zangu mm-hmm. ni wachaga kazi so nitakiwa kwanza kusimama ni, 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 pla, ni ludishe mikakati yangu na malengo yangu mm-hmm. on track kabla sijarudi kwenye kitu ninachokipenda so nilikuwa nataka kwanza nisimame na kwa sababu nimeajiliwa you know boss anataka reports anataka vitu vingi so kazi yangu comes first like mziki ni kazi yangu but like kazi yangu ambayo ina inandisha na kuniweka hapa inakuja first 
so priority inaenda kule alafu inakuja huku kwa nagawana nagawanya muda wangu i should say that oh yeah, yeah. niliwahi kupenyezewa uh, za chini chini sana kama vile kuna time ilitokea mkawa mna date na wilder wakati mko the industry na baadaye si nini nini kwa nini mliamua kuiweka loki <laughs> oh my god <laughs> ah haijawahi tokea na cheka mm. kwa sababu siju umeitoa wapi hiyo i think you're the very like the first person kuitaja hii so i'm kind of shocked sijawahi kutoka na, na wilder na siwezi kukwambia sosi dan, uh, sosi zangu do hiyo <laughs> sosi yako ni noma za chini chini sana <laughs> Uh, Sikia vitu vikawa undercover. No. I mean and chini ya carpet. No, sijawe kutoka na Will Dad. He's like a kid brother. He's my young brother I should say. Nilikuwa gana muita hivyo nafikiri nimemshinda kiumli. And he's is a young brother to me. Come on. And I know his girlfriend na namheshim sana. She's a good friend. So uh, sijawe kutoka na Will Dad. No. Mm. Crush wako ni nani bongo? <laughs> ah. <laughs> da siri yangu <laughs> so, sijui um sidhani kama ni, ni crush eh? unajua crush ni yule mtu unamwona sha unashtuka eh alafu inakuwa temporarily is here kwamba it's temporarily you know i feel that person mm. kwa huo mdafu inaishaga mm-hmm. i do mu. really yeah ndaangalia google uh, crush is just anakaa kichwani huyo ndio ambao natamani like bana ni zinakuwa kama wish No, any crush is like kumeniona, you think I'm, I'm cute na kuvutia hapo unaweza ukaniona kesho kutu ukawa you don't feel the same. Mm. Yeah, ndo man, any it's in temporary. So, so kama ukiniona kesho kutu and ikaendelea that something else like ni sio sio crush. Au yo yo. No. Nah. Hapana. Hapana ni nani? No. <laughs> I rather not go into that. Uh, Yeah. Oh yeah. Sidhan kama si anaweza kawepo, anaweza siwepo. Anaweza kawepo lakini mm-hmm. I would like to keep it uh, on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unanicheka. Au kuna sauce. <laughs> Nyingi sana. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Celine, right about now fanya kama una introduce kama yako, mm-hmm. chapa lape na usiana na nini, the inspiration behind the record, the message kwenye record. Um Uh, chapala hapa kwanza it's, it's, it's move on kwa, ki, kwa kizungu and kwa Kiswahili maana yake songa mbele mm. um, inspiration again ya chapala hapa imetoka kwenye maisha yangu like napendaga ndio maana narudi mwaka na kama mwaka napendaga kufanya kile kitu ambacho nimekiishi so ah <laughs> Chapala hapa inaweza kaa kwenye vitu viki na hisi ni, ni jani yangu ya maisha yangu yote kuanzia kuanzia wana 17 Uh, au kwanza nilipokuwa teenager hadi nilipofika kuna watu nimekutana nao hapa katikati kwenye maisha yangu ambao um, labda walinisemea maneno mabaya walinimea vitu vingi labda walinikatisha tamaa labda they didn't believe in my hustle um, either iwe kazini either iwe shuleni either iwe kwenye mahusiano kwa hiyo ni, ni story ndefu mpaka leo kwa hiyo simply inamaanisha kuna wale watu kila mtu anao watu kwenye maisha yake ambao wanaweza kukwambia oh, you, you know nothing you know you'll be nothing tutakuona utafika wapi you know um, hata ukifanya jambo lolote kwao aliozi ikawa zuri it's just like unatoa umeambiwa utoe usitegemee return lakini this time it's like unatoa with all your heart lakini like, mtu wa appreciate even half of what you do so I, like if i speak of the song ndo maana nikasema chapalapa and you just move on from that najua inakuwa ngumu sana nyingine kutoka kwenye situation moja ukasema unatoka kwa sababu tunaogopa kuwa wapweke au tunaogopa kuwa wenyewe tunaogopa kutokueleweka but sometimes it, you just have to move on and uchape lapa because ni bora uumie sasa hivi kuliko kuja kuumia baadaye yeah ah uh-huh. yeah so fanya kama una bless na kama una chochote nataka kushare <laughs> Um kwanza waende Instagram wani follow na ji promote uh, natumia Celine underscore official uh, because um kuna vitu vingi na share kwenye Instagram zaidi ya nikiwa hapa because tuna limited time so if they follow me wataangalia kila mstari kila relics uh, 
kila maana kwenye video pia video ya nyimbo ishatoka ndio video ya kwanza mimi kuigiza uswahilini ndio video ya kwanza kuigiza na osha vyombo ndio video ya kwanza kuigiza na nyole tano so imekuwa kidogo ni transformation kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kuelezea uhalisia mmm yeah. kwa osha vyombo before eh no naosha lakini yani naosha so katika hali mazingira we i, I cook mi chakula changu nyole tano we nyole zako peruvian hair brazilian yeah. hair mimi ni msichana wa nyole tano. Ni nini nails, ni nini nini. Wala, wala. Mimi kwanza napenda kujipikia. Oh, Ula, yeah. unless nipikiwe na mtu mwingine, labda nimepita ila I cook every single day for myself. <laughs> yeah. The playlist.